Keith Dickey and Claire Manshrek both run cattle operations in the Deloraine, Manitoba region and have worked together on numerous occasions to figure out various cattle-related challenges. One of their most recent projects was to build this wire roller when Manshrek needed a way to quickly roll up about seven miles of high tensile wire around a rented pasture. And we couldn't figure an easy way in order to roll up high tensile wire, so Keith and I drank a lot of pots of coffee and decided to try and build something that was relatively portable without using a tractor in order to be able to, to uh, roll that wire up and be able to transport it to another location and reuse it again. In order to eliminate the need for a tractor, Dickey and Manshrek equipped the wire roller with its own five horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. The motor drives a pump. There's a hydro, there's a, a, a orbit motor that drives through a chain to drive the spool. You can adjust the speed of the chain of, of the spool with a valve here from stop to full throttle. Most of the parts in the roller were salvaged, but they did purchase a new threader, which moves back and forth to evenly spread out the wire as it fills up the spool. They made several spools for the wire roller from a variety of salvage materials. These ones are, are from an old horse-drawn disc that we, uh, we've we managed to find a few of them. And, and muffler pipe, exhaust pipe that we, you would use on a highway tractor. And that's what the center is made out of on these ones. This one, of course, is different. but it, It's all stuff that we pretty much found in our scrap bin around the yard. They salvaged the hydraulic system for rolling up wire from an old Wheatheart bin sweep. An added bonus is that it provides them with a built-in safety feature. The safety valve that, that will allow it to bypass if you were to get caught in the wire so that it, it won't mortally wound you. Uh, I'm not going to say that it wouldn't hurt, but I, you're not gonna lose any limbs. This, this thing will, will stop. Changing spools can be a difficult and time-consuming job, so Dickey and Manshrek came up with a design that makes it relatively simple. We have a, a spacer here that, that is removable. We have to take that off. Because the weight of a full spool, this particular, we need a bearing support in the other end, and it comes off like so. And then the spool, it's that simple. Put a new spool on. Spacer. There's a pin. Goes through here. And then this. So that it all the spool always stays lined up with the spacer. Or with the threader. They specially built the black spool for more difficult wire rolling jobs. Yeah, this particular spool here is designed for primarily for barbed wire uh, and so you can take it apart and, and store your wire rolled up or we have used it to, to uh, roll up high tensile that, that is damaged from flood or water or whatever and, and it's going to get th thrown away. Mantrek figures each of their spools holds about a quarter mile of barbed wire or a mile of high tensile wire. They designed the wire roller in such a way that they can unroll the wire by simply hooking it up to a second ATV, which means they don't need to start up the wire roller's engine. And with the oil running back through the, the pump and so on, it, it creates some resistance so it, when you start rolling it out, the, the roll doesn't uh, turn into a slinky type of thing. There's some tension on it. And it Actually, it rolls out very nicely. For the trailer portion of the wire roller, they salvaged an old tent trailer which hadn't been used for many years. The graded section at the front of the wire roller was made from racks which were thrown out during a renovation at a local retail store. They seem to work well for allowing moisture to fall through so it doesn't sit on the wire roller. Both Dickey and Manshrek told us that they don't know of any commercially built wire rollers that are self-contained units like this one. 
there's quite a number of, of wire rolling units out there that are hydraulically driven off of a three point of a tractor or off of a bucket or whatever, but you still need a 50, 60, 100 horsepower tractor to do it. And the thing that we like about this unit, you can hook onto it and drive 50 miles and load your quad and roll wire and come home. Since they built the wire roller out of mostly recycled materials, Mantrek and Dickey figure it only cost them about $400. They estimate using all new materials would come to double that or even more. Since the unit rolls up a mile of wire in about 20 minutes, it has probably paid for itself many times over.